Okay, excuse the gardener. Um, I'm outside, I'm not in my house, so I can't really control the sounds around me. So I'm just gonna speak a little bit louder and I hope that you guys can hear me. Right now I am in my garage um, because I got a refrigerator. From my lovely neighbor, she was moving. She is moving, actually. She's giving things away. And so I was like, yeah, I'll take your refrigerator, girl. Don't. I need it. I need it. I needed the extra freezer space. Um, all right. Well, it sounds like the gardener is a little further away, so I'll just start this over. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. I am just going to clean the outside of it. She can see it's a little dirty. I'm going to try my best to you know, clean that up, make it look good, the inside, just a little dirty, that's fine, it's fine, it's in great working condition though, like this freezer is absolutely cold, and in here, and in here, I'm really excited to have this, you guys, and I'm just going to be using a couple of things. So this is a mixture of bleach and pine saw. Right here, like I said, that's bleach and pine saw. And then I'm going to be using this right here. Um, it's an antibacterial cleaner. And I'm going to be using this right here. I've loved this since I discovered it. So there's no stopping me. I'm going to be using that. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to be cleaning out this refrigerator. I had to watch because my daughter's out there. See her? She's playing. Okay. <laughs> the gardener is back. Um, I'm going to start with the inside because obviously that's the most important part of a clean refrigerator. Um, especially when that's just going to be stored in the garage. So I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and clean. And then I'm going to work on the outside. We're just going to work on the inside. Um, I'm just going to spray it, wipe it down. Hopefully it looks good. So we're going to... And I hope I'm not moving too fast. Do a before. These shelves are kind of messy, but that is a quick fix. Believe that. Believe that. And then the refrigerator itself. I mean, this is the freezer part. Quick fix. This is a non-issue. I will be able to get that completely. Um, the refrigerator. frozen to the bottom oh wow there's a whole layer frozen yeah. to the bottom I'll show you. 
right here. Here. So, I'm just going to slow mo over here to get you guys a nice look of what we're dealing with. Kind of messy, kind of messy. I am going to be taking these shelves off. Um, I already took these out. I think I mentioned that earlier. But I already took those out and I'm going to be taking these out. Those shelves there to really clean. And then I'll be washing them by hand and putting them back. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm halfway done. I just had to clean like the base of the refrigerator. So far, I mean, it's not really dirty. It's dirty obviously, but it's like coming up really, it's just surface dirt. It's not like hardcore years of not being clean dirt. It's kind of just, you know, average stuff. So it's going by to me, it's going by pretty fast. And as I'm taking this apart, I'm really liking it. I think I like this more than the refrigerator in my house because of how easy it is, um, how much you can customize it. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. But so I'm just, you know, checking in. Didn't want this to be too quiet of a video and to tell you guys that I'm almost done. And then I'm gonna do the outside. Oh my goodness. I thought I'd been videotaping this whole time. I guess I haven't. Um, well, I started on the main part of the refrigerator. I, I'm so mad. I thought I was recording. I guess I was. It, it happens to the best of us. I'm almost positive. But, um, yeah, girl, boy, whoever, that sucks. I mean, I really thought I was in here scrub dub dubbing on camera and I wasn't. Okay, I'm back. I do want to let you guys know that my phone is telling me that I have 10% left and I just know I'm not going to be able to finish the video. So I'm going to turn off my camera and go charge it. Well, it's my phone, but whatever. And go charge it and finish this off. As you can see, I just finished the inside of the refrigerator. I do still have to do like the rim of the refrigerator. Um, that's a little dirty underneath there. I don't know. How well you can see that but I'm gonna be getting that up um, and just cleaning now pretty much the outside of the refrigerator and the shelves of the refrigerator and when I have it all put back together hopefully there will be a little more juice on my phone and I will sh bring guys out and show you how it's looking okay so my phone has a little charge and I am officially finished with 
this refrigerator. Okay, so I know I was saying it was easy. It was easy. Most of it was just surface dirt. There wasn't a lot of hard scrubbing that I had to do. So it was just, I was kind of trying to be detailed, but whatever. Um, I did as best I could and I'm about to show you guys right now. So let's see. That right there is the rack that was in the freezer. I didn't put it back in because I just didn't want it in my freezer. You see these scratches right here? These are just scratches. Obviously you can't clean scratches off. My floor is still wet <clears throat> from doing it. In scratches, sticker. I, I'm not even gonna bother with the sticker. There we go, there. So we open it up. And here we go. It's looking better. Definitely looking better. Like you can see, there's some things I couldn't get off over here I can get that off that's fine that stuff does not bother me and the refrigerator it actually smells so good if you use mrs myers you know what this is smelling like it smells great put that back in there the refrigerator i can't remember how it was looking beforehand in terms of this thing like where that was at this drawer, but that's where I put it. It'll be fine like that. And I just think it looks really great. So thanks for sticking with me.